Hey, peace and blessings to whoever might be listening to this or watching this. Um, I kind of thought about something here about Twitter. And Twitter allows you now to have a, a background. And the background can be 1900 pixels by 1200 pixels. But what I kind of discovered here is that on this particular screen that I'm at, or that I'm on, that, uh, let's take a look here that my screen resolution is at maximum which is 1280 by 800 so even if I have the full background that 1900 by 1200 I can't see it I, I updated this the other day and I can't see what the actual background I can't see the entire background and I kinda thought about that like well you know if, if um if you're not looking at the screen in on a, if you're not looking at Twitter on a full screen that gives you that 1900 by 1200 resolution, then you're not going to see it. I had originally looked at this particular website that gave you some examples and some backgrounds that seemed to work. It gave you the little template and the the whole um, the 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 scale of of how wide and how big it's supposed to be. And I think this might be a little old because now I looked. I saw that it was 1900 but anyway uh, this seems to only say that it's 1200 which anyway if even if it was 1200 let's see would, would that allow me to see with my screen resolution where's my screen resolution I had the option there 1280 so I guess if it was 1200 if I did have it set for 1200 I'd be able to see it on this background but my understanding is that it is higher than that that this was as of 2009 and they they enlarged that that space so it's 1900 but anyway so I was looking at these different images and I'm thinking wow that's you know that's that's nice little images and see how that works there how it works with the Twitter in the middle uh, especially like this MailChimp one where they have the MailChimp logo on the side nothing else there and then their whole Twitter feed is in the middle that's kinda cool and I thought well maybe I could make something like that so um, but my concern was that the the size that that maybe some if you're not viewing this on a 1900 pixel wide resolution monitor you'll never see it all so I had originally a couple of different images that I was going to try to use and um, this was one of them and this was another because my idea is that I kind of wanted and I'll show you here I'm using the GIMP so I'm going to create a new image that's 1900 wide and 1200 high so that'll just be a blank sheet and then I thought I've seen some of these other images and I kinda like how they're just kinda sparse you know not, not much to to view that if you don't have um, some sort of that, that you don't have to have let me see like this one that, that's kinda oh, like uh, what was it there was one that was kinda busy I thought like this this has the sight point stuff in the middle and these cards and stuff I just kinda wanted something kinda blank like that but that still kinda continues along with the brand of Butch Gibson hey but anyway so let me go back here so I got my image here and I figured out that I could do a gradient and there's different gradients that you can do uh, in the GIMP it gives you different um, options on the type of gradient that you could do and I chose the one that says dark so I've got my dark gradient and supposedly you just click on one side drag to the other and then the gradient will go across like that so then my thought was to grab an image like this oh wow that's kinda interesting that the that it kinda matches the tone there the skin tone kinda matches the tone of this this uh, this outline here anyway so I'll grab this select all copy click here right click and then paste as a new layer and then I'm going to enlarge that picture here yeah and scale it that way 
and let's see, let's put that in there. And just for what it's worth, if anybody had any questions about this image, this is a typical bathroom shot, but uh, I'm not the typical kind of guy, so I, I'd say I don't do typical bathroom shots. But what I did is I put a uh, head light, which is just a, 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 a flashlight that mounts on your head with this um, kind of a strap that fits on, on the top of your head there. Wait a minute. That's what that is. So um, that's kind of how... I made that now I'm going to merge that down so that it's all one layer and then I'm going to export to uh, Twitter background headlight so I can just kind of know what it is I'll do a good quality image on it and then let's see uh, then we'll go back to Twitter and right now my Twitter page if it shows up here has this other kind of background going on there that I, I kind of don't like so I'm going to log in And then once I log in, I go here into settings, go to design, and there's a spot here we can change the background. So choose an existing image. Let's see, gotta dig down in here. And what do I call it? Twitter background headlight. So Click that, hit save changes, and depending upon how long it takes, there's usually a, a message up at the top here that says your, um, your changes have been saved, but I want to go back here and look and see. How big that file is oh well it says there it is your, your profile custom customization has been saved so if I go back to the home I don't know if it'll actually show let's see view my profile page ah there it is and so now it has kind of shown up so I'm kind of liking that um, I might do something else. I might put my, my name in there somewhere, but I just kind of like the fact that now I've got the kind of, I'll say blank Twitter background or, or kind of sparse. I just, I just, I thought it was too busy before. So I actually think that even, even kind of blends in with this color of the picture that I have here. But either way, that's what I got. That's how I did it. And if you can do it, um, have at it. And if not, you know, just maybe enjoy mine. All right, thanks for watching.